Hello friends, I wanted to show you my cool hair. Um, this is kind of funny, but before the pandemic, my 2020 um, New Year's resolution was to learn how to braid my hair. Um, and as you can see, I learned how to braid my hair. Um, this is funny because I've never known how to braid my hair and I've usually had like waist length long hair. So it's always a joke that I never knew how to braid my own hair or anybody else's hair. I didn't know how to braid. Um, and I actually made myself learn how to braid hair and I probably actually got it done, I think in February or March, I learned how to braid my hair. So like I set a really low hanging fruit kind of um, New Year's resolution and then the pandemic happened and I was like, okay, I guess I get to practice a lot. Um, I feel like I can get it pretty tight. This is probably the worst example. I can pr get it pretty tight. Well, the other thing is um, I learned how to braid my hair in February and then sometime in the middle of like June or whatever when they reopened hair salons and stuff, I went and got like eight inches of my hair cut off and layered. So like my hair used to be all one length all the way to my waist. And so it was really easy to braid um, cause there weren't, weren't like pieces that stick out. And then I had to kind of relearn to braid with my new, very much shorter hair and very layered hair. Like that's the, this I feel like is the other telltale, telltale sign that someone's hair is layered. They have stupid ends like this. And it's cause you like, at some point you can't really braid anymore. Um, I still know how to braid a stretch, stretch goal. It is December now. <laughs> A stretch goal would be how, learning how to French braid my own hair. I don't think I'm going to make that. Maybe that will be New Year's 2021 resolution is to learn how to French braid. So something I really liked about learning to braid my hair is that I really like how it looks when it's pinned up. So I'm going to pin it up for you guys. I'm just going to show how I do that. And yes, my um, phone, my camera is in my medicine cabinet and I'm just I um, folded it up so that the braid kind of like just kind of twists up and I try to like kind of gather this bit and uh, I think someone told me once it might have been my friend Dixie told me that bobby pins are supposed to go ribbed side down I don't know if it matters as much when you're doing, when you're like sandwiching them together. And I'm reusing some old bobby pins. Some of them are loose and some of them are not. The loose ones I try to use um, on kind of the fatter sections. And what I'm doing is just kind of trying to find places where this can, and this, this bobby pin sucks. It wants, it doesn't want to spread apart. It wants to split. God, I might get rid of it. Um, I'm just putting a few in, in the front. I'll go back in and do the back here in a sec. Um, I'm, so like I have this hodgepodge of like old, <laughs> there's a good one, crappy bobby pins that don't match. Like this one's silver and uh, some of them are brown and put this crappy one in the back and, and see it's kind of sticking out but guess what I don't care and a friend of mine suggested this to me who also has really long hair and braided and learned to braid her hair and she's like I wear my hair like this pinned up like every day and I'm like what that's even an option even and hiding the tails is probably the hardest part, I think. I don't I don't do it very well. Sometimes I try to like wrap it around. No, I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tuck it. And I'm gonna try to make this one tight. And like you'll see what kind of stupidity I come up with to tuck the tails in behind. Like, see, this one is up with just one pin, just strategically right at the end. Now, it's not beyond the hair elastic. Um, and look, it looks nice and dumb right there. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tuck my tail into that anyway. 
and it's gonna continue looking kind of dumb. Let me let me put a couple other stabilizing bobby pins in here. Here's a nice one. <laughs> Useful. Um. And so why I like having long hair is like, I usually wear it down every single day. Um, but there are some days where I don't want it on my neck, usually in the summer, um, but sometimes in the winter, <laughs> as it is currently. Uh, and I think it looks cute with the braid. So here's my thing, and people are welcome to suggest how to do it. I don't know how to nicely hide my hair elastics. Like, I'm just, also I'm just tucking my tail into this other one, like, through the back. Whatever. <laughs> Sticking out. It's not perfect, okay? It's not perfect. It's especially not perfect there. It's especially not perfect there. Um, so I'm, I think that just kind of went through. Oops, oh well. I'll just keep putting more pins into it. I'm kind of like too tall for my mirror setup, but oh well. Um, I don't, I haven't, okay, to be fair, I haven't really looked up ways to nicely hide the braid tails. And this, I think people call this a, a crown braid. Dude, it's two pigtails Bleep, pinned up. From what I have gotten at like the Renaissance Festival, a crown braid is like, it starts somewhere around here and it's a French braid that goes all the way around and then, and then a right, and then it ends in like a braid like this and then they keep going and then you just pin it. That's a crown braid to me. And that's something that I've paid people to do for me. Um, like, like I said, at the Renaissance Festival, I used to very purposefully go to the Renaissance Festival <laughs> with clean hair, like washed and dried, or washed and then I, it dries as I walk around the festival. So that I would pay the person there to braid my hair. And then I would, and then I can wear a braid usually for a whole week. <laughs> um, and the way that I'm able to pull that off is I will wear like a, a do-rag. Um, and those are the ones that just kind of they're just a piece of fabric. They're like, have this arch space for your noggin to go in and then they have a flap kind of in the back and then they have these two really long strings on the side. And uh, that's what black people use to keep their waves or their braids. And that's what Tony always, he's like, he didn't have hair when he was like 21. And he's like, I have a couple of do-rags you can have. And I'm like, yes. And they keep your braid nice and it keeps it from getting too fuzzy. It will get kind of fuzzy, especially if you toss and turn, and I sleep ridiculously, um, but it prevents you from having to rebraid your hair and repin it, um, so you could sleep in this. I like that, I like sleeping in this actually because my head is, it's flat, it's flat in the back, um, so it's easy to lay on. Now, if you have like some kind of braid that goes in the back, like it can be really uncomfortable, especially around here, to lay your head on at night. Um, I have to get short. I'm like, and so I'm, I'm just pinning the crap out of this. Um, and I'm not, I'm by far not a genius for using a do rag like those have existed forever. It's I'm not the first person or first white person to use them. They're fucking doing exactly for me what they do for someone trying to protect their waves or their braids on uh, like African hair. Uh, I just happen to, I don't wash my hair very much. I wash my hair once a week. I wash it like, Sunday's usually my wash day. Cause my hair just, it's so long and it's colored, obviously it's bleached. And I just, I want to avoid as much damage as possible. And my hair doesn't get particularly greasy because I brush it out. I shouldn't brush it because it's, it's kind of wavy curly. This fucking thing is like 
the pl the paint is coming off. It sucks. I'm still gonna use it. It's just being a jerk. Um. Ow. I forgot what I was saying. Um, just that you I can keep a braid for a pretty long time. Um because I don't wash my hair very much and it doesn't get very oily. And even when it does get oily, when I brush it out, it will like get the oils dispersed throughout my hair. And I really shouldn't brush my hair because it's textured. And if I want to keep any kind of curl, if, if I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my curl back. I have curl. I just, because I brush it and because of how I treat it, my curl gets annihilated. I'm trying to figure out where to put another pin. Um, braiding is one way to stop brushing it. I think it's actually pretty secure. Okay, I'm just gonna arbitrarily find a place to put it, I guess, because I have one pin out. Ow. Or not, I'm not, because ow, I just tried to stab myself. It's another one of those ones that sucks. Anyway, this is what I do for my hair when I want it to be up off my neck and kind of look cute. Um, yes, this isn't cute. This isn't cute where you can see my hair elastics. I could have done better here and here. I could have like where I twisted it up. Um, I didn't want to rebraid my hair. This, these were both the first time runs. Um, so if I did a better braid and if I twisted it up a little bit better, if I didn't use such giant elastics, if I didn't hide, if I would have hid my tails a little nicer. This would have came out nicer. But this is a really practical hairstyle right now. Um, you can zhuzh it up. You can make it pretty. I have these little roses that are floral roses. like, f uh, And I have these from the Renaissance Festival. When I get my hair braided at the Renaissance Festival, sometimes I'll have them put these in. And they just kind of stick them in different places. That is a nice way to try to hide these guys because then if I match the color right, then the, they kind of visually disappear even though they're right there. Um, this is how I do my hair now. I, uh, a lot, uh, very frequently I've d done my hair like this. Um, I tend to wear it down every single day, but sometimes when I want it up, I'll do this. I have been also doing a top bun where it's like literally on the top and I do literally on the top because like driving in my car, if I have a bun out the back, it like bumps against the headrest and it ever so slightly juts my face forward and it hurts my neck. So I've been wearing, <laughs> trying to wear a lot of styles that are like on top of my head or coming out of the sides of my head because I can't stand something right here on the back. And if I want to sleep in it, it has to be flat. Again, it has to be flat. When I get my crown braid at the Renaissance Festival, I have them do it really high. And it goes like around this top part of my head, kind of like a halo. And it ends up being just like a circle right here. And this is all lifted up, which is funny because I have like all these straggly baby hairs. Look, look, look at this. I totally didn't braid that in. Like I. I really should like try to pin that in. I will use that pen that was being in. No, I'll use a different pen. Screw that pen. And this is just, just a very practical hairstyle for someone who has really long hair and who wants it out of their face, but also wants it to look vaguely cute. Um, Cause it is va only vaguely cute. Cause look, it's a hot mess up here. Look, look at this. It's a frickin' wreck. Anyway, um, I just wanted to post a thing about that. And no, I don't have makeup on. And no, I haven't washed my face. And no, I haven't brushed my teeth yet. This is all in preparation of all of those things. This keeps me from spitting on my hair. This keeps me from washing my face and getting my hair in the way. So I do this first. All right, and that's it. Goodbye.